hello YouTube welcome to my page if you are just visiting our page we are called straight to the point and we are called straight to the point because we go straight to the point okay this is a 2006 Nissan Xterra and this video is about this sensor this is the camshaft position sensor it works through all 2005 through to 2015 you can apply this application if this sensor goes bad one you, you start getting idols your car will just sit and start shaking if you put it in park it will just be shaking two you will be stalling on the road if you are driving and you just meet a stop sign and you stop the car can shut off if this goes bad you can get uh, high gas mileage and that is all up because of this specific sensor that is exactly what is happening to this car the engine shakes a little bit and <clears throat> I'm getting low uh, low power um, your power just goes low sometimes it will throw trouble codes sometimes it will not so for you to be able to figure it out you can either get a, an OBD uh, scanner you can get a scanner and just scan it through from the inside or you can just go to AutoZone and AutoZone can just help you out and they'll give you the codes that says your camshaft position sensor is out either the bank A or bank B you can decide to just change one but I would advise to change both now these are the locations <coughs> The first one. Okay. Right down here. As you see right there. That is your first one. But to be able to get through it. You need to take this out. You got two 10 millimeters. Just take it out. And this comes right off after that <clears throat> put your hand through this side and you can get through that location and after you take it out there that is a harness right there that is a harness you just press down but there Press down here and it will just pop out <clears throat> and that is where we took this one off we got two brand new ones we're gonna put them in and it should be able to fix it now the second one <clears throat> the second one eh? it's right I have to jump on the car <laughs> it's right here um, I don't know if you can see it, but this harness goes to it, which is right on here. God damn, it's very dark. There's a 10 millimeter bolt. Take it out, and it should pop out. So let me see if I can get a good shot. That is it right there. See that? So I've got the 10 millimeter bolt. Let's take that out. Okay. So that is how it looks like. 10 millimeter bolt. Okay. If you take it out, then you reach in and pull it out. See that? Now that is the second one. <clears throat> Get down here. All right. <clears throat> now, to get this one out, you need to push this harness in. Push it in till it clicks. And when it clicks, it pops out like that. Let's grab it before it goes off. And there you have it. All right. Both of them are camshaft position sensors. See, this one is bent a little bit. And that is for this side okay and this one is straight and that is for that side reverse it get a new ones get a new ones from Amazon 
I got it from Amazon. Um, yeah, uh, from a seller, YCT, um, who sells on Amazon or whatever. Um, both of them were thirteen dollars. With tax, it was like fifteen dollars for both of them. You can't go wrong on this. Just get both of them. Change it. Fifteen dollars for both. Come on, man. Just get both. Put it back in the same way you took them out, and voila, there you go. You fix your problem. Now, if it continues to go on, then maybe try to change your crankshaft position sensor because it's also that similar things, or should I say, it causes similar things. And that will be it. Thank you for tuning in to Straight to the Point. We will see you next time on the next video, baby. Bye.